a very, very good idea in some <laughs> circumstances. One of those spots is the Halekoa Hotel and its surrounding areas. Pedestrian traffic will be limited to residents and employees within the secure area. Segway Hawaii tour operators said they're still trying to figure out the details on how to go about business, and nearby restaurants say they're concerned about how many patrons they'll actually see. One couple from Canada say they've been through this before. Brought a lot of money to the business operators in the area, but overall, the money that was spent by the rest of us as taxpayers, that never gets paid back to us. Nearby Aloha Mini Mart gas station will only be allowed to service those staying next door at the Luana Waikiki Hotel. Gas will only be available to law enforcement and military personnel. The public will be allowed access from Ala Moana Boulevard to the Kalakaua and Kuhio Avenue split, where all general traffic will be diverted onto Kuhio. Nearby hotels will also be subject to detours and vehicle checkpoint sweeps. Yes, it's going to be very confusing, and uh, if you're driving and you don't know the area... Meanwhile, the lagoons at JW Marriott Ihilani will be off limits to the public, along with waters between Barbers Point Harbor and Kahe Point Beach Park. Anyone traveling through the Ko'olina exit and Olani Street must present identification. Get online and, and know, know what's going to be closed and avoid it. And of course, this just touches on the slew of limitations during the weekend of the 11th for the Halekoa Hotel and the JW Marriott Hotel areas. Additional security screening and updates to the plan may be made prior to the event and city transportation.